The vision of the Arkansas Dream Center is to see thousands of hurting people come to know a new life through the efforts of our staff, volunteers, and recently rehabilitated individuals whose lives have been dramatically changed. Me and my fiance, we had a place and just within the last couple of weeks, we lost it. And, uh, fell ill and lost everything I had. My dream is to be a choreographer. Um, I'm very passionate about dance. Um, just really haven't made up my mind if I want to stay here or not to work on it. But, um, Uh, the Dream Center Cafe is, is open on Tuesday, Thursdays, and Saturday mornings, and we just have a time where they can come and do laundry, um, they can get showers, they can come have breakfast and lunch, um, use computers, we've got a closed closet where they can come get a few items that they need, and it's really just a place that they can be to chill and uh, hang out with people and get some of the physical th needs met, but also be here and be encouraged and make friendships, and um, that's, that's what we do. And, it's, and they seem to love it. A lot of them I've heard that they miss the Dream Center when it's not open because it feels like family. And so we see a lot of the same faces every single week, and they really do become family. In, uh, in large part, that's uh, thanks to the Dream Center because it's kept me uh, above water, along with family members, associates, friends, past employers, future employers, and others, a small collect-knit group of people. And the Dream Center is really a, a big backbone piece of that. And without them, I wouldn't know what I've done some days. It would have been very difficult. Mm -hmm. and in some cases, not even been impossible. What did they it's, do for you? You know, you can come here and take a shower. You can do laundry. You get good meals compared to some of the other places. Um, they At least here, they have security cameras. Some of the other places. They have security guards walking around, and that's it. Um, like one of the places, everybody's bags all go against one wall. Okay, what's to stop from someone from going into your belongings when you're not looking? You know, the security guards not going, not, they're not going to know whose bags are whose. You know, oh, that someone could say, "That's my man. That's my bag. I got to get something out of it." And then when you leave, something's gone out of your bag, like a cell phone, a charger. You know, anything like that could be gone. But at least here, they got cameras. When it's cold outside, they open the gym for people to be able to sleep on the floor so you're not in the cold because it's like the Salvation Army, they have eight beds for women and, I don't know, like maybe 30 beds for men. And if it's full and all these other places are full, there's nowhere else to go except for here. If anything, I would say the Dream Center is like hope, you know. Um, I say that because you come here, and um, I've been coming here since October of last year, actually, and um, it never fails. Every time I come here, it's just like you, you see a smile, you see a friendly face, and even if you're going through the most horrible thing in the world, you're able to smile for a few hours, even if it's fake. So <laughs> um, I say it offers a lot of hope for me personally and um, hope to, once you leave here and you step outside back into the world, it's just like, kind of get the drive to go and just make the best of your day. <laughs> Look at my husband. <laughs> he's like, Tony, no, what you doing over there? What you doing over he's there? Like,